Hi there, welcome to the channel. My name is Rick and I'm your official Puerto Rico travel guide. From the common to the uncommon, I show you all the amazing natural, historic, and cultural attractions of Puerto Rico. And today, I'll give you a complete guide of one of Puerto Rico's most amazing oceanfront attractions, La Cueva del Indio. incredibly unique is that it's completely covered in petroglyphs that the Tainos carved into the rocks during their tribal meetings, rituals, and ceremonies. In fact, with about 80 carvings, La Cueva del Indio is said to be the cave with the most petroglyphs near a coastal zone in the whole island. Located just a one hour drive from San Juan, La Cueva del Indio is perfectly located to be part of your day trip to the municipality of Arecibo, or it could serve as a stop for your trip to the west side of the island. If you're using Google Maps, make sure that the Cueva del Indio you're driving to is located in Arecibo, since there are other less than their own caves with the same name. If you take the shortest route to the cave, it will most likely take you through a scenic road right next to the ocean that passes through the municipality of Barceloneta into Arecibo. Once you drive by the incredibly large Christopher Columbus statue to your left, make sure to keep an eye out to your right since there's a sign leading you to a designated parking lot for the Cueva del Indio. If you want to visit Cueva del Indio, you can either park in one of the designated parking lots located in private property and pay $5 per person to access the cave, or you can park your car in the side of the main road and walk up to the Cueva del Indio through the beach. However, I want to be completely frank and warn you that this area has become somewhat notorious for having people break into cars and steal personal belongings. So if you want to avoid a potential bad time during your trip, consider paying those $5 per person. These lots generally open from 9.30 in the morning to 5 in the afternoon every day of the week. After you leave your car and pay the access fee, make sure to walk up to the left of the trail that leads you to the ocean rock instead of going to the right which will lead you to a beach. Because of its location next to the ocean, the rock has over time been battered by the wind and water, creating many incredibly sharp edges that can be potentially dangerous if you slip and fall. For this reason, I highly recommend anyone visiting La Cueva del Indio to avoid wearing flip-flops and sandals and instead go for some type of closed-toe shoe like sneakers or boots that completely cover your feet and has a good amount of grip. Also, be extremely cautious with the unmarked holes that lead to very dangerous multiple feet drops into the caves and ocean. Nearing the top of the rock, you will find a large opening and sub steps that lead towards the entrance of the cave. Now, before doing anything else, I want you to look back at the steps you just came down and think to yourself, is this natural? Is this the shape that the rock would naturally take? Well, the answer is definitely not. Not many people know this, but the reason the steps are the way they are is because the Spanish settlers carved the rock to create water filters out of it. Now, after composing yourself, after realizing this mind-blowing fact, you'll want to see what you came here to see, the Taino petroglyphs. To do this, you need to climb down into the cave where they are located. Before, there used to be a ladder that would take you down into the cave but it has been since removed due to safety concerns. However, there is another hidden way to reach the inside of the cave, which I will show you only after you smash that like button if you're enjoying this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of the common and uncommon parts of Puerto Rico. Also, leave a comment below and let me know what content you want me to make next. In my last video about the incredible Canyon Blanco, Andrew commented that he'd like me to make a video about Cueva Ventana. And Freddy also commented that he wanted to see more videos about the south and the west side of Puerto Rico. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and wait for those videos in the future. And now, back to your visit to La Cueva del Indio.
today, the only way to access the cave is to go down this narrow, sketchy crevice in the rock. I highly recommend anyone who is not physically and mentally fit to avoid climbing down the crevice since it can be potentially dangerous if you slip and fall. However, those who feel brave and confident enough can come down the crevice and they will be greeted by walls completely covered by Taino petroglyphs. These Taino petroglyphs date back to the 13th century. While down here, make sure to take some time to examine all the details inside the cave and try to make out what these carvings represented for the ancient Tainos. Connect to their ancient culture and transport yourself to the tribal and ritual ceremonies. Also, if you'd like, you could take a dip in the small pool formed by the ocean that has entered the cave. After you spend some time inside La Cueva del Indio, you'd want to carefully head back up through the crevice, go back up the rocky stairs, and start walking east towards what is the first of seven consecutive naturally formed rock arches located right on the coastline of Arecibo. If you carefully look down into the turquoise ocean water, you can admire the full force of the water crashing against the colossal rock. The scenery from this area is so unique and beautiful that it has been used to film several Hollywood movies such as Pirates of the Caribbean, Runner Runner, Treasure Island, and A Perfect Getaway. From here, you can also see the huge Christopher Columbus statue called Birth of the New World that stands at 360 feet tall, making it even taller than the Statue of Liberty. If you want to visit this statue and get close to it, you're kind of out of luck. The project to develop the area near the statue has been indefinitely halted because of contract disputes between the sculptor and the land owner. After taking in all the natural beauty, you might want to continue walking down the trail to the beach where you can take a dip and relax after your adventure. And finally, I want to reward everybody who's watched up to the end of the video with the bonus tip. If you're looking for delicious places to eat after your adventure, you're in luck because Arecibo has many delicious restaurants and cafes. If you're looking to grab a casual drink right next to the ocean, you should stop by Arecibo 681 or Bocata Smokehouse. If you're looking for something a little bit more fancy, you should visit Salitre Maison Casero. And finally, for some amazing coffee, you need to stop by Bermudas. The best part of all this is that these places are located a maximum of 15 minutes drive from La Cueva del Indio. And that's it. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to see more of the common and uncommon parts of Puerto Rico in the future. And lastly, if you want to find other ways to support the channel, make sure to visit the online store Iguana Diaries where I sell photo prints and wall art of all the beautiful places I visit around Puerto Rico, including Cueva del Indio. You can find the link to the store in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and see ya in the next one.